Hi everyone, Suzanne here. Welcome back to my Tomb Raider 4 The Last Revelation playthrough. Today we are playing through the levels Menkara's Pyramid and Inside Menkara's Pyramid. So let's just get straight into it. So wow it's dark in here. I can see something over here. Oh, oh there's more. Okay. Um, oh, I think I climb up here. Uh, is this a dead end? <laughs> Looks like it. Oh, okay. Oh my god, it's the giant! Ah! It's the giant thingy! Why aren't you jumping? Use the controls! Why aren't the controls working? Oh my god. Okay, let me get my explosives. Let me get my explosives. What is that sound? What was that tapping sound? Was that the sound of them? I'm so scared and creeped out right now. I was so not mentally prepared for that. I was not prepared. Okay. So yeah, those are the giant scorpions and I did try and look them up and there's not really any information that I could find on them. They're just giant scorpions and they are presumably a part of Seth's army, I would guess. Okay, I think there's going to be more of those so let me just make sure that I have my grenade launcher. Hang on, let me check how much ammo I have of each grenade. Okay, so I have 10 normal, 18 super ammo, 23 flash. So I'm going to use some super ammo and that should hopefully take care of those quite quickly. Which way should I jump? Try this way. Ooh! Ooh. Well, the grenade launcher works well, and I chose the right way. <laughs> Is there anything around here? No. Whew. Oh. Oh, it's just a scar. Ooh! Oh my god! It's just a scarab, I said, as one of those snuck right up behind me. Great. Oh! Damn. Oh. They blew myself up. Didn't I? Didn't I? Do you know what, Suzanne? Why don't you take a medipack? There we go. That kind of solves your problem, doesn't it? So, um, where am I going? I think I'm going over here. Oh, I see you. What's that? I can kind of see you. It's very dark. Hang on. It's 
just a scarab, so I'm not gonna waste a grenade. Okay, but this is pretty cool. Pretty cool view. Okay, so we need to act fast when we go into this room. I think I'm just gonna use the shotgun and see how we get on. Don't, don't aim at him. Aim at the scorpion. <gasps> oh, damn it. Damn, no, no, I failed. Okay, maybe a shotgun wasn't good. Maybe Uzis. So basically you have to try and kill that scorpion before he kills the guard, because if you don't kill the guard, you can't get a secret later. And also you miss a cutscene. So let's try again. Damn it. Okay, I think I need to stop worrying about hitting the guard so much and crap. And just shoot. Oh no, I am actually hitting him. Stop it! Damn! <gasps> yes. Allah be praised. For a moment, I thought I was dead for sure. Please, for your own safety, take these keys and hide in the Pyramid of Minkari. Save yourself from these abominations. Okay, yes, finally success. So basically, if you don't kill the giant scorpion in time and he dies, you can just pick up the keys to the Pyramid of Menkari. If you manage to save him, not only will you get that cutscene, but he'll also give you the keys to the Pyramid of Mankari and we'll also get the armory key from him, which opens a secret later on in the game. So it's worth trying to save him, but just a really brief summary of that. So this guy is, he's just called a guard. So I don't know, I presume he's like, pyramid guard or something because he has the keys to get into them and stuff as well so i assume that's what he is the scorpion flings the guard against a wall and lara kills it with her pistols she kneels by the injured guard the guard praises allah and says he thought he would die he gives lara a set of keys and tells her to get inside the pyramid of menkari and hide from these abominations and then just i was like what's the Pyramid of Menkari, because that's also the name of this level and the next level. So Menkari's Pyramid is the smallest of the three main pyramids of the Giza Pyramid Complex. It is thought to have been built to serve as the tomb of the fourth dynasty Egyptian pharaoh, Menkari. So yeah, it's the smallest of the three main pyramids, which I did not know, so I thought that was really interesting. And is there anything else around here? Oh, there is. I mean, that looks too big to get across, so I think we go back this way. How do we get back? Oh, well, that just put me right back in the position I was in. 
That's not very helpful. Uh, oh, what if I go up? Hang on. See, I keep forgetting that she can actually um, move around corners. Keep forgetting that. How far can I go with this? Okay. So, oh god, I'm actually stuck. I can't move. Oh! Well, do you know what? That worked out. So, right. <gasps> Did you guys hear that sound? What was that? That scared me so much. Right, so then I think we climb Menkari's pyramid, which is this one. I'm not sure where to start. <laughs> See, this is the hard part because I remember we climb pyramids. I just can't remember the way to climb it, so this is, oh, this is gonna be trial and error as well. Well, damn. Oh wait, maybe that was actually the way to go. Oh, I think it was. Um, they look kind of flat there actually, don't they? No. No. I was in correct. So I'm stuck. <laughs> there- oh hang on! There's this behind me. <gasps> well damn it. Well this is where I needed to go. That's handy. Um, I missed a secret though so I need to go over here. Okay, ooh. That is so handy for them. Right, and then, oh yes, I see it now. And that is, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, okay. Okay, stop. Stop it now. Actually, stop it. Stop it. <sighs> right. So, we should have, yeah, 65 out of 70 secrets. Great. Okay, so now we are inside Menkari's pyramid, obviously. Oh, whoa. Obviously. So, yeah. These bats are going to drive me insane. Oh! Oh, hello. Mummies. Well, come on then. I want to try and get I want to try and get both you at the same time to conserve some ammo. Okay, and we got a view of something up here, so I think we have to shoot it. Great.
I think, did I collect more revolver ammo so I don't have to like conserve it anymore? 32, mm, it's not a huge amount, but it's also not nothing. So I think it's fine. I can't get in here. Ugh. Aha. Okay. Wow. It looks so cool in that pit. I love it. Ropes. My nemesis. Now nemesis? Nemesis? Not sure. Okay, and off. Get away. Right, you come up. Stop. Come this way. Come together. Oh, I managed to get the bat as well. That was glorious. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we go this side first. Let's not do more rope swinging than we have to. They had to have one more bit of rope swinging just to torture us some more. <gasps> Ooh, oh my God. Okay, one side done. But like, why would these be here though? This is my question. Why would these rope swings be here? Why would the ancient Egyptians build this inside the pyramid? They wouldn't. That's the thing. It's stupid. It's stupid because I hate rope swinging so much. <laughs> Oh, just about made it. So now we are about to meet a pyramid guardian and get the first of four shaft keys that we need. I think they're called shaft keys. <gasps> oh my God. I didn't think he could see me or know I was there from down here. That gave me such a fright. It's okay, we paused it, we're fine. We're safe. So just very briefly. So the pyramid guardians are two demigods that safeguard two shaft keys. They are called shaft keys that open the gate to the inner sanctum of the temple of Horus. I more so should say they're two of four. So we need these four shaft keys to open the entrance to the temple of Horus. The guardians attack Lara by firing energy bolts from their scepters. And they're also hawk headed guardians. So that perhaps means that they are minions of Horus maybe. So yeah, he kind of put them here to guard the entrance to his temple. Oh my God, okay. So let's just, um, let's just do this. I think I'll use, <gasps> stop it. I think I'll use, uh, I think I'll use Uzis. Stop hiding in the darkness. We can't even see you. So I want to get a look at him. <gasps> he can shoot me. I think it's really crappy that we can't really see him properly. Or maybe we will be able to when I brighten the footage. Oh, there he is. Now we can see him. Oh, look at him floating around the place. Oops, ran out of Uzis. 
Uh, killing this guy with pistols, not a good idea. Not a good idea, but I'm too panicked to change. Surely he has to die soon. Yes. Okay. Well, do you know what? That was an absolute disaster, but it was fun. I, I enjoyed that in a strange way. <laughs> okay. And we got the first of our shaft keys. They don't look that impressive. Anyway. Right. I didn't know they floated. That was interesting. I've never seen that before. It's a really good thing that I have a ton of medipacks so I can afford to just be an idiot right now. <laughs> Oh no! Damn. Okay. And another one, of course. Okay. We still haven't gotten a secret, though. What is that sound? Oh, it's those blades. Oh, this is what opened. Okay. <gasps> Crap. my no 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 where's my um yeah grenade launcher <gasps> it's just not my day oh now we're on the other side of that big massive pit I think I'm half blowing myself up along with everything else. Um, okay, so that took the... Was it the top off the pyramid? But I'm missing a secret. Where was that secret? I don't remember. in this section. Panicking now, I really feel like I missed a secret.
I hope I don't have to go back. <gasps> oh my god, I thought that was the gate. I thought the gate was this way. Oh, maybe it is and you have to like monkey swing to it. I get you. I feel like I honestly don't get much in this <laughs> this playthrough. So woefully bad. Oh! Oh yes, I remember where the secret is now. It's right here. I didn't miss it. So you have to like time it so that you don't die. Oh. <laughs> but that you can land in the pit and not miss it. Good job not dying, Suzanne. Excellent. Woohoo! Okay, I got it. Great! Quite proud of myself for that. I shouldn't be, but I am. <gasps> right, so what's happening now? Oh, we're back to underneath the Sphinx. Okay. So we go back out this way and then we're going to exit through the door we didn't go through before at the Sphinx. So yeah, there's the Sphinx again. And how do we get over there? Okay, yeah, so we have the guard's keys, so we can open a lot of stuff now, which is handy. Is there anything around here? Okay, so that playthrough was an absolute disaster, but you know what, it's done. I think I'm gonna leave it there for this video and just keep all of the Menkari's pyramid stuff together because I feel like the next few levels, the Mastabaz, the Great Pyramid and Kofu's Queen's Pyramid, I feel like they just naturally kind of go together. So the next video is probably gonna be a bit of a longer video as I play through those three levels, but it should be really, really fun. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.